At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Please! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. 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 Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. Stay here. No, please don't hurt me. Stop pointing me. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I say! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you die. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. 
Human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're gonna. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing.
Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. Step away from the ledge. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him and this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. I'd have done anything to bring him back too, to hold him in my arms just one more time. But humans don't come back, do they? Just a machine. You're a machine, Connor. Just a machine.
bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus from the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bed. Security check. Please don't move. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you.
die, Marcus. I don't want to die. You gotta keep going. There's nothing else we can do, alright? Come on. Of our people. He's gotta move faster, or we'll never reach the camp. signal.
Took me a while to find you, Marcus. are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We've won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. <laughs> this way, please. Temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. I'm 
so glad you're safe. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Thank God you're all right. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Cora. What's happening with Marcus? He's attacking one of the android camps as we speak. I don't know if he'll be successful, but violence only leads to violence. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. It made me realize she was right. I don't agree with what Marcus is doing. But you're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID, please. They're androids. On your knees! Oh my god. I'm sorry, Alice. We have just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels. 
following some particularly violent fighting. The deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation a nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive and now we are free.